Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. I told y'all y'all was going to get Prophet Howard. I told y'all y'all was going to get Prophet Howard. I got some controversial things to talk about on here. You don't have to agree with me. Do not try to convince me. Otherwise, you will be blocked. And I don't like to block people. I don't like to remove comments. But if I know I'm right, and you try to say otherwise, you will be blocked. And what I'm about to talk about, I'm going to prove detail with details on this. I really want you to study this for yourself. But I'm going to give you some details. And I've been thinking about this. I've been researching this stuff for a while. I've been keeping a lot of it to myself. And I, I'm still not going to put everything concerning this on YouTube for people to run with who get more support. They got better supporters. I got some supporters, but I don't got the supporters of some of these other YouTubers that will run with what I'm finna say. And turn it into dollars. So I'm not putting it all on here. Y'all ready? Let's go. Eight reasons why it's time. To learn the truth and give up on the gods of your oppressors. This one right here is mainly for blacks. Nothing against nobody else. Ain't no need to hold no grudge. Because when you know this, when you know this truth, it causes you to sympathize with others. But it changes the way you do so. See, this, me knowing this, me knowing this is what's going to help me in every aspect of life. Because, see, a lot of the problems that I had, it was because of this, me not understanding what I'm about to talk about. Sometimes you got to go through it for that truth. Um, that truth ain't going to just come. You got to pay for that truth. You got to sacrifice for that truth over time so you can see exactly what it is. Seven, eight reasons why it's time to learn the truth and give up on the gods of our oppressors. Now, as a lot of you know, I got a lot of backlash for what I was saying about Tony Gaskins. But the fact of the matter is this. What he was saying, he was taught to say. It wasn't how people, melanated people like me and like you who watched this, wasn't how they did things. See, we've been taught to be against each other. Nice strategy, huh? We've been taught. That's why we see all these people dying in the street. Because they think that their enemy is the dude that's dealing with the same things as them. And I know they've been watching me. I know that it's dangerous to talk about this. But somebody got to do it. The most high needs fearful, fearless soldiers. All these dudes talking about they don't preach some cowards. You preaching the, the doctrine of your oppressors. Your ancestors wouldn't have believed none of it. My ancestors wouldn't have believed none of it. Wouldn't have went for it. They were beat into submission. Some of them rather die, and they did. Let's get into this. The number one reason why it's time to give up on these phony mythological gods is because we still at the bottom. How many, okay, if we were to calculate all the prayers that we say to get money and we still at the bottom. People who don't even pray have more money than us. The stat is that blacks have one tenth of the wealth that whites have. One tenth. All the prayers your grandmama pray. All the prayers your great grandmother pray. All the prayers you pray. And we still have one tenth of the wealth that they have. During biblical days, they knew not to mess with the people of God, but 
we were we 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 were worshiping idols. So we don't have the same power as them. See? We still at the bottom. Y'all think y'all know. I done already told you about words like the Lord and Amen. Amen is one of the 69 demons. Look up, type in 69 demons, and you will find Amen on there. The only difference is in some languages it's spelled with an O instead of an E or a, or a U. And some of the, the pharaohs, they had a snake on their on their uh right here where their pineal gland would be. And they had Amun in their names to symbolize the sun and the snake. I told y'all, y'all finna learn. And they could try to shadow ban me all they want because I'll just go in public. It's about that time. We still are at the bottom. Even the lotteries cheat us. You go to any state lottery, you're going to find more people winning where it's predominantly other races, we'll just say, than where we play at. How many, how many black people have won Powerball? The ones that win, they be out there where the white people be at. They don't know that, they don't know that it's them. We still at the bottom. I ain't trying to hear nothing from your preacher. If you bring your preacher, he going to get cooked. And I'm going to show him in detail how he's, what he's teaching about mythological gods. He's promoting the teachings with di under different names about Zeus. Don't, don't play with me. I'm done playing with y'all, man. Y'all be worshiping Zeus and don't even know it. Talking about him, well, his name, Jesus. That means hell Zeus. If you pronounce it correctly, it's hey Zeus, which is what the Greeks said when they were saying hell Zeus. Number two, too much tragedy and death. How many prayers have you prayed to these gods? of your oppressors and the things that you prayed not to happen still happen that wasn't happening to biblical people all the time it was rarely happening I'm telling you but it's happening because we have been taught to accept the idols that they got in trouble for trying to accept All this tragedy and death in the street, you're supposed to be able to pray that away. I'm supposed to be able to pray that away. We got to cleanse ourselves from worshiping and praising and praying to these idols. They got you praying to they gods and then they get everything. And every time a leader rise up, they try to kill him because they know that he might tell them this right here. Number three is only making these passive, pathetic pastors rich. The only person that's getting rich from this stuff is the person who writes the book and the person who preaches the message about these pagan gods. Meanwhile, a lot of y'all is living in crime infested areas. A lot of y'all is losing relatives left and right. Can't get, can't talk to God and figure out what to do to keep them alive because you worship in idols. He said, you shall have no other gods before me. You got this God before him. You got that God before him. You got that God before him. Number four, because people who don't even pray have every earthly thing. They got everything. You pray all night. You done been to shut-ins and your situation don't change. Loans don't count. You get a loan to get a car or a house and you, you putting God's name on it. Why you got to get a loan? Somebody else was able to prosper enough to make cash, to pay cash. And then we, what we do is when another person get down, we say, oh, God judging them. 
And sometimes you're right. It could be for worshiping idols. But sometimes it ain't him judging them. It's they just just they hoodwinked. They deceived. They ain't doing things right. Number five, people who attack us get no recompense. That's something to think about. You go to work, you so you they hate you because you're a believer, but ain't nothing happening to them. You the one that's stressed out, not them. They toxic anyway, but ain't nothing happening to them. You ever ask yourself why? Think about that now. I told y'all, man, I told y'all this day was coming. We ain't just talking about dating and stuff. Y'all should know by now all these people is worshiping idols. They're evil. They're unrighteous. But yet they're deceived into believing that they're righteous. Number six. Because people who claim to possess the spirit of this belief are just as wimpy, evil, passive as the rest of the lost. Can't rely on them. Docile. Number seven, because we have dominion. It's not showing though because we worship the idols. Number eight, because a lot of it, like I said, is pagan, mythological, and pass downs to make us passive. I'm done playing. I don't know about y'all, but I, I figured out how you're supposed to worship the Most High, how you're supposed to go about it. All that stuff I learned as a kid and all that, that's in the trash. All them little Last Supper, all that stuff, I ain't trying to hear nothing about that. The Most High had over 600 sons, according to urban legend and urban, urban record. Even if the one that we called Jesus was one of them, which I believe he was, You've been given the doctrine from the oppressors. You, they lynched him. And, and, and he had, a lot of the records could pertain to it, so you wouldn't know. And I know they're going to try to shadow ban this. It's too late. Give y'all a goofy, flunky YouTubers who too arrogant for you to even learn from, like I told y'all earlier. What is Myron going to teach y'all? All Myron can say is as soon as he get confronted to bring up his little rental cars, and he probably bought some of them. Money don't mean you, you the man. Sometimes it means you ain't the man. It could be a deception, an illusion to deceive the rest of us. Somebody could be boosting you up. I know how this game go. The people with the power, you linked in with them, so they promoting you. That don't mean that you the man. Sometimes the man need to catch a break. Time to get rid of they idols, man. I ain't trying to hear nothing, man. If y'all, the minute you bring up these words, I'm going I'm to post something to show. Some dude said, well, oh, that's just Google. Man, I can show you in the Encyclopedia Britannica's the same stuff. 
I can show you in library. Some of this stuff is still in the library. Books practically dusty because ain't nobody reading them. Because y'all all are deceived and y'all ready for the mark of the beast. God is a spirit. Didn't the Bible tell us that? The only difference is he's a spirit with a form. He's a spirit that's life. We try to make God, the most high put us in the garden and we want him to do the work. Then we get mad at him. But if he ain't, if he show you anything, the closer you get to him, he going to show you, you got the power. If you don't use it, you just going to be going without That's what's going to happen. You're just going to go without. They don't want you to know this. They want you to feel, I ain't inferior to no man. You ain't supposed to be inferior to no man. And if you use your military might on me, oh, well, I live on in another realm. But you will never make me feel like I'm inferior to you. And it's time. All y'all dudes trying to be thugs and killing each other in the street. It's because you worshiping idols. If you had the truth about God, ain't no way you would be doing that. You got their truth. The devil. Still kill and destroy. That's why you still kill and destroy. Because you doing like your father or like your mother, I should say. If you understood the power that's in the universe, that created the universe, you wouldn't have to steal. You wouldn't have to do none of that stuff. Now, we could. But we wouldn't have to. You lose something, you lose it. Get something else. I know. And what am A.E. even said it. He said, like, when you be going through it, man, sometimes you be tempted to do stuff that ain't right. I've been tempted to do things that ain't right as well. That's not, that don't mean you're a bad person. That just means you have a need and you want to see it come to pass. But we got to learn how to go about it. You should be able to go to somebody that has what you need. But because they worship idols, they don't have the love in their heart. They being charmed and spelled into giving to the people who, who are aligned with darkness. And then they won't help you. So. I'm about to bring these truths out, y'all. It ain't nothing personal. It's business. It's not personal. Don't take it personal. Don't, don't, don't seek no validation from women. If you got to dump them, dump them. If they holding you back, if they not helping you, it's because maybe they want to do, they not having sex with you, it's because maybe they want to do it to somebody else. Go let them do it. But we got to be getting the best out of this life. And the way we going to do it, you, you got to stop giving your oppressors too much power. You're not going to deny me anything. If you try to, then I'm going to be linked in with the true God. And you're just going to have to deal with it. We got more videos. Stay tuned.